stay here in the semifinals. Well, I hope I make my fellow Sankobianes proud of me. Well, they are already proud of you. They're just being here, You're representing them on stage. And you've made it this far, so congratulations. Good luck with the Q&A. May we please know the name of the judge? The judge for Limgas na San Fabian is judge number three, Miss Maria Gigante. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Hi. Candidate number 19. All right. So Pangasinan, through its history, has proven that the women of this beautiful place are warriors. So my question for you is, what are you fighting for? As an advocate for environmental sustainability, I believe that we are responsible in the preservation of our environment here in Pangasinan in order to meet the needs of our community without compromising the future of the next generation. With our collective voices and efforts, then we are capable of making a resilient and sustainable Pangasinan and that's what I fight until the end. Thank you. Hello, good evening, candidate number 18. Good evening, Paul. Um, if you will win tonight, um, how will you divide your time to do your responsibilities as a student and as Limgas na Pangasinan 2024? Thank you. As a student and as a future beauty queen, I, I manage my time by time management. And I prioritize what are the priority that I should go first. And as a beauty queen, it is my priority to, uh, to showcase the people that I can manage my time. And I can showcase that I can still a beauty queen even though I have a lot of things to do in my studies. That would be all. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Candidate 17. Um, this is from the movie Rewind, which is the highest grossing film in the Philippines. If you can rewind your life, at what stage of your life will you begin, why, and what will you do? If I would rewind my life, I would rewind it to the moment that I screened in this Limgas na Pangasinan competition. And I would further improve on myself and assess myself if I am truly capable of winning the crown. And standing here in front of you today is a testament that I am Limgas na Pangasinan, ready to take on the world. That would be all. Thank you. Candidate number five. How are you? Sir. You know, my question is, if you were to address investors from around the world, how you will convince them to invest in the Philippines? The most beautiful thing about the Philippines is us Filipinos. We know how to make a stand. We're hospitable and all of us are all loving. So, to our fellow investors outside of the world, come here and visit the Philippines. We have the most beautiful people and beautiful beaches. You will never be disappointed, and especially, your business will grow. Good evening. Number 13. Good evening, sir. Yeah. If you will win uh, one crown tonight, how will you promote Pangasinan in national stage? I will promote Pangasinan as we all know that it is full of loving cultures and traditions and especially the people. We are hospitable and resilient and I am a testament that I will prove them that you are able to feel the love, you are able to feel the support, that you are welcome here in Pangasinan, the testament of beauty and brain. Thank you. Such a Hello, candidate number 14. Hello, Ms. Michelle Marcus D. <laughs> okay, take a deep breath. Here's your question. If you were given the freedom to choose and answer your own question, what would it be and why? I believe that question would be how big my heart is. 
because it is through my heart that you can see my dedication, my hard work, and my passion that I put in into this pageantry. That I am here standing in front of you tonight, fighting for the causes that I would know and I would share it to the world. I want to become the best woman to conquer the world. Thank you so much, Pangasinan. There you go. Well, good evening and congratulations on making it to top 10. Hello. Good evening. Thank you. So my question for you is, what for you is the hardest part about winning and what is the hardest part about losing? I think the hardest part about winning is the negativities that people throw at you, knowing that things that they see towards you are the reflection towards themselves because that is what they are entitled of, their opinions. But I think the greatest thing about winning is the hard work and dedication that you put in through onto that process. Because I believe that in life there's always the challenges and these challenges will help us to become better and stronger. Thank you. If you will be appointed as the ambassador for the government program of one town, one product, what product from Pangasinan will you promote and why? It will be my product in my town, which is the Carabasa. It is the representation of every Ubinganyan in my town. It is the representation of resilience, creativity, and of course the people who, who are very hardworking. The people who always put their efforts, and of course the people with the heart, to make everything make better. Thank you. Nicely done. <laughs> Hi, Polly. Hi, Miss Billy. Here is your question. What is your favorite word from your hometown or province, and how can you relate it to your journey to the crown? My favorite word from my hometown would be it's people. I believe the people is all from our town, but that people in my town, I believe is what I am representing right now. I'm not just representing myself, but the people of Vinolonians. And I believe that me as a woman standing in front of you all as a, I am an advocate actually for a sexual. Thank you very much. Hello. Hello, My, good evening. Good Excuse evening. Me. My question for you is, a lot of times people ask what men can learn from women or what women can learn from men. But my question for you is, what can men and women learn from children? I think what men and women can learn from children is their curiosity, their innocence, their drive to learn more. And they're really driven with everything that they do. And if there's one thing that we can learn from them is to do everything with a heart, to do everything with a passion. Thank you. Good evening, thank you so much. Nicely done. Guest number one from Lincoln and 